Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I am so excited to get ready with you guys and kind of show you my fast makeup routine. Um, so I'm a teacher and I don't have a ton of time in the morning to get ready if I really want my sleep. And let's be honest, we all want our sleep. So I've kind of tried to get this down to an art where um, it's a fast, easy, simple makeup routine. Um, and then of course I like to go a little bit um, more glam on the weekend. So yeah, um, getting started, I always start out with a moisturizer. I have been using this Green Apple um, Age Defy Moisturizer from Juice Beauty. It smells so good. <laughs> I have something with smells that that sounds weird, but um, if so, if a product smells really good, then I'm gonna love it. So this one smells really nice, and I like the fact that it has an age-defying aspect to that because you know, great skin forever. Um, so I'm applying this pretty liberally all over my skin. I'm getting my eye area too. Okay. So the next thing that I like to do is prime my skin. Um, I really like the Smashbox Primerizer because it has a primer and a moisturizer in one. And so I'm priming my skin and I'm also getting a little extra moisturizer, which I don't mind because I feel like that really makes my skin look extra fresh for throughout the day. So I am going to apply this all over my skin. I even apply it on my eyelids because I don't use an eye primer. I feel like it's just not needed if I can put my face primer on my eyelids because that works just as well. It saves time and money. And so that's what, that's why I like to do that. Um, the next thing that I do is I use concealer to conceal those dark circles because I got them. <laughs> um, I use the Instant Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline. This is a little light for me. I've been getting a little sun, hence all the freckles. But um, I, because of social distancing, I have not gone out to get a different shade. So this one's gonna have to do for right now. Um, I really like this because I feel like it's comparable to a lot of higher end concealers. And so I just kind of put that, put that under my eye, a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my forehead. Yes, I know it's super light, but the foundation will fix that. So I am gonna go over that with my beauty blender. So how have you guys been doing with all of this social distancing? It's been a little, a little difficult on me. I am a pretty social person and I like to go out and do things and not sit at home. Um, but it's important that we do that right now because that is what our country needs at this time for us to stay home and stay healthy and keep others healthy. So weird times that we're in when saving the world is, I saw this as a meme, saving the world is staying home and watching Netflix. I guess I can't argue that. Um, okay, anyway, I'm going to move on to foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Again, another drugstore product. I like this because it is also comparable to many um, higher end products without the hefty price tag. I feel like it is really just a gorgeous foundation. It stays put. I don't know if it would actually last 24 hours. Maybe I'll try that out in a video. Even though I'm not a big fan of ever sleeping in makeup, but for you guys, I might just do it. We shall see. Anyway, I am just getting all areas of my face. Okay, so um, now that we have the foundation applied, 
I am going to move on to a setting powder so that everything stays in place, doesn't move around, doesn't get too shiny or um, anything like that. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. I'm pretty sure this was like $5. Very inexpensive, yet I feel like it works pretty well. I'm impressed. And so for all of those out there like me who are on a budget, this is a great setting powder. And I'm kind of putting a little bit underneath my eye area to just really, I feel like that's the area that can really crease the most. And so I put a little extra powder there with my beauty blender. And then I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and just go ahead and set all of that. I am going to go ahead and move on to bronzing up the skin a little bit because Girl needs some color. So I am going to use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Again, another wonderful drugstore product that um, everyone seems to love. I love, I've been using it forever, and it smells, again, just amazing. Like I'm at the beach, I love it. Um, anyway, I'm just taking a different big fluffy brush and warming up the skin just a bit. I like to make sure I really get my neck because no one wants a line. So now that that step is complete, I'm going to go in with just a hint of contouring I'm not gonna go too crazy. This is not a full on glam look. It's just something to, I have a very round face. And so I really like to contour just a little bit to make me look slightly less like a child. A little hint of that. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and move on. Finally, something that's not drugstore for someone who wants something that is a little bit nicer. Um, I am using my NARS blush and orgasm. It's also really pretty. And so I am just going to take my little blush brush and apply that to my cheeks. Sorry, there is a truck or something outside. I don't know. Okay, um, now my favorite thing, because I feel like it transforms my face so fast. Um, I cannot leave the house, well, no, I can't leave the house. I can't leave the house without doing my eyebrows. But if I had to choose just one makeup product or one step in my routine that I could keep, it would be doing my eyebrows because my eyebrows are super light in comparison to my hair. And so I, feel like that makes the biggest difference on me is when I fill in my eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I just have an Ulta Beauty brow pomade. Um, it's just in dark brown. And so I am going to go ahead and just fill in the brows. Okay, so those are finished. Also, say hi to my puppy, honey. <laughs> she has made an entrance. Um, anyway, so now that my eyebrows are done, I feel like my face is more framed. Um, oh, she wants to say hi. This is honey. Oh, she has a little bone. She kind of looks like she's smoking a cigarette right now. Say hi, honey. She looks so funny right now. I can't take it. <laughs> there was a dog outside and she was barking in the video. So, um, what better way to fix that than a dog bone? My eyes, I try to keep really fast. <laughs> and so I have been using this little trio from Wet n Wild. It's okay. It's not great. It's fairly pigmented. Um, it just, it's fast. And on the weekdays when I don't care quite as much, that is what I use. 
Um, on the weekends, I like to use higher quality, better eyeshadow, but this does the trick. And so what I do with that is I put a little bit of this just pinky-ish neutral color on my lids with my finger. So... And then I take just kind of a big, flat, fluffy brush, and I use the brow bone shade, just that one, and put it on my brow bone. Kind of hides all my little straggly eyebrow hairs that I need to pluck. So <laughs> that is helpful. Um, and then I take my bigger fluffy brush, take my butter bronzer. And I think that this is a great, just natural, quick, um, crease color. And so today I'm going to do that. Just taking a little bit of the bronzer and just adding a little bit of depth to my eyes. Okay, um, and then I like to take the same shade of whatever I use in my crease, and I use just a little brush like this, and I put it on my lower lash line as well. I just feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger because I have small eyes, so, and of course, you gotta make a weird face while doing it. Okay, so that's all I do for the eyeshadow. Um, I then use my Stila. I love this eyeliner. I feel like it's really easy to put on. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I feel like this is great. It lasts all day. It stays in place, and it's pretty easy to apply. It has like a really, I got the thin tip, um, applicator. So I really like it. So a little trick that I like to do that I feel like makes things a little faster is I like to do my setting spray before I put on my mascara. Um, because whenever I have my mascara on and then I do my, and then I do my setting spray, I feel like I blink and then mascara gets everywhere and I just don't have time for that. And so I like to do this before the mascara. So I am using the Smashbox setting spray photo finish. I really like this. Um, to me, it's very comparable to the all nighter. So yay. Now I like to curl my lashes because I have very, they're very short, straight lashes. And so I just got to add a little curl in there. And then my all-time favorite mascara is this telescopic mascara by L'Oreal. I feel like it's great if you're like me, you have very short eyelashes that need a little help. Um, this has a very thin brush and so it really gets up underneath those eyelashes. Honey is just going to have to join us while I do my mascara because she is a grumpy lady today and she is barking at everything. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to put on a couple layers of mascara. So now that I'm finished with my mascara, I like to just go in with a, honey loves this shade, look at her. It is Liquid Cat Suit from Wet n Wild. It is the shade Peach Stole My Look. <laughs> it's my favorite shade. I also have a pink one, but I feel like it's a little bit too Barbie pink for me, but um, these are also very inexpensive, yet no ma'am. Yet, they're gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Oh, 
it's just, it's very natural. It gives me a little bit of color and it is, uh, I love these. Love these, they are so nice. And this is the final look. It's very natural, very simple, pretty fast. If you liked this video, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up on this video. And thank you guys so much for watching.